Okay, sir, could you tell us your name and spell your last name? I'm sorry? Could you tell us your name and spell your last name? Jake. Okay, so, Jake, you heard about the stabbing, and what did you do? Well, no, I heard about it because I live in the apartment complex, and uh, I was concerned. I kind of know the young lady. I've seen her before, but uh, I just walked around, looked around the area, thinking of the obvious. I know they were still looking for her. Uh, couldn't find her. I, knew, I checked all the dipsy dumpsters, and that's where she was, behind one of the dipsy dumpsters. You found her in the third time you checked? Yeah. Did she say anything to you? No. No, I don't think she even seen me. Uh, I, I didn't want to scare her, didn't want to do nothing. One of the officers, women, women sheriff officers, was on the scene already uh, in this area. All I did is motion to her to come in. I said, this is where she's at, and they contacted the, the rest of the uh, sheriff patrol. Okay, now you told me earlier you were a Marine for over 30 years. Over 30 years. And, and, and today you're still serving. I'm still serving. I'm ready to go right now. I'll go back to action anytime they need me. Sir, thank you so much for your time, and thank Th you for helping out the sheriff. All right, thank you. Bye. You're a Marine, too. I'm Sergeant Pat Fox, P-A-T-F-O-X. And you're with? I'm with the San Diego County Sheriff's Department, Lakeside Substation. Thank you, sir. Can you tell us what happened this morning? Yeah, so today we, we received a radio call of an assault with a deadly weapon. Uh, deputies arrived on scene and learned that the victim was stabbed in the abdomen by his daughter. Uh, the victim had not seen his daughter in a number of days. Um, an argument ensued. After being stabbed, the uh, suspect left on foot. Uh, deputies, with the assistance of Sheriff's Astria, uh, National City PD's K-9, and, I'm sorry, and detectives set up a perimeter on the location. After an extensive search, uh, with the assistance of media, um, the victim was, I'm sorry, the suspect was located hiding behind a dumpster. Deputies were able to take the suspect into custody without incident and the suspect was, will be booked in the Las Colinas on assault with the deadly weapon charges. And it actually was a resident that found her? Correct. Okay, and she was hiding in the dumpster? Yes. Is she a resident at this apartment complex? No, she's not a, not a resident at this apartment complex, but the victim who her father is. Okay, anything you like to add, sir? No. Uh, so, so tell me more about uh, her. She uh, she kind of has some people have known she has some issues and stuff. And Resi she, she might have been on drugs or something. Yes, residents have told us that the, the suspect suffers from mental conditions and is a narcotics user. Okay, and do we have her age and, and the victim's age? I, I can grab that for you. Okay. Are, are, you, are you happy the way things, you know, kind of, the things go pretty fast and, you know, and everything go pretty well the way Yeah, you deputies did a good job of slowing the scene down, uh, setting up a perimeter uh, and taking it slow. We did a systematic search um, and the subject was taken into custody without force. So it was a great outcome. One last time about the injury. Uh, you said abdomen and was it, do we know what weapon? Yes, it was, a, it was a puncture wound to the abdomen with a knife. Okay, has the knife been recovered yet? Uh, we're still currently searching for the knife. Sir, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right, thank you. Perfect.